नमस्कार नमस्कार सो वी प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ योर नेम एंड माय नेम इज मार्टिन बाबा हैज बीन गिवन बाय बाबूजी मार्टिन इज माय बर्थ नेम एंड बाबा हैज बीन एडेड बाय बाबूजी सो मार्टिन नो गुड बाबू मार्टिन बाबा इज गुड बाबूजी हैज गिवन मी दिस नेम इन 1982 Jari of Sada Shiva Ga, Mandir of uh, Shiva Mandir for Babaji Hadakami Baba Mandir. I'm a Pujari since the beginning of the start of the Ashram. Already from 1980, uh, 1991. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And uh, you are from Holland basically, right? Yes, I'm born in Holland. So how did you know about Babaji in short in short yes i know about babaji about a photograph i was in a, uh, in a breast therapy mm. pranayam therapy and then somebody showed me the leader of this group showed a picture of babaji mm. in his young form mm. yogi yogi rise mm. yogi, yogi like a yogi and i said i want to see this this man mm. this photo mm. Mm. so i went to india and i had the address of this little village where he was living in the moors of the himalayas then i happened to walk around in delhi because i've never been in delhi mm-hmm. and who i saw babaji oh, he was walking walking passing by mm-hmm. so i go around i look at the picture and i look at him and say yes that's yes that's him so i come and then i stand on the pedestal and he was passing by with a few devotees and then he was passing by and he was not looking at me oh. and then he passed by and then he stepped into a car and he drive and i think i come all the way from all to shibabi you know look at me what why am i mm-hmm. he passed by and then he stopped a few hundred meters stop again the car he go out of the car go in the shop mm-hmm. so i go again i stand in between the car and the shop mm-hmm. and i wait till babaji come out of the shop soon as he came out of the shop and he passed me he raised his hand in blessing okay. and then he go sit in the car with his back towards me okay. if i'm there he will sit with his bro back towards me okay. and then he drove away but i felt accepted because he blessed me and then i went to his village and then he was not there because he was making a tour around india and then i waited one month in herakan where he was his was his seat his living place and i waited one month and then a swami from herakan said Now we go to Vrindavan because Babaji is now visiting Vrindavan. Mm-hmm. So I went with the Swami to Vrindavan, and there I saw Babaji for the first time on his asan with the devotees, you know, singing around. Then I made pranam, and then he smiled at me. Where you have been? Uh, and I said I was in here. I come. No, oh, how oh, oh, are you smiling? <laughs> From that on, I was every year into Herakan until I got married in 1993, and I was doing seva. Three months a year in India, and the rest of the time I spent in his ashrams, in Yogi. In Yogi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in short, can you explain what change it made uh, in you, uh, and what did you observe different from other human beings in Babaji? In Babaji itself, is the uh, his divine presence. He was uh, the Shiva himself. He knew everything about me. Mm. and uh, i felt come like coming home as if this is where i belong and there's no other way i have ever to go to mm-hmm. no other guru i have ever to visit if i was given me everything mm-hmm. it's like he accepted me as a as a devotee and that meant he would take care of me mm-hmm. and i felt like this and then uh, i felt also many obstacles but i felt this is my home there's no no way to change made in you first of all it uh, he made me uh, uh, he made me he, he 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 gave his teachings to me about right living mm-hmm. about doing karma yoga through service about mantra about uh, about living together with his devotees and he made me remember that you have to do the duty in life mm-hmm. that you have to do God gives to you, and you have to do it into perfection. Mm. That was the thing. And then, of course, he he 
he showed me the things I have problems with in my life. Yeah. My, not the little problems, but he showed me big problems in my life. Yeah. And he taught me to be patient, yeah. and that he will take away these problems. Yeah. So immediately from the beginning of time, I was faced with my, you know, the, the, the really points inside of me which are basic. Your basic uh, problems which take you away from God. Mm -hmm. Good. So uh, then you became a full-time priest, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, whether he asked for this or mm -hmm. how did you reach that point? Because I don't see that in ma many other mm -hmm. of his devotees. Yeah. You know? He taught me to. Before in 1983, he put me in the Duni uh -huh. and he taught me to do Duni Seva. Uh -huh. And from that on, uh, Babaji, unfortunately, he passed away in 84. Mm -hmm. And then his uh, uh, basic uh, uh, main disciple, Muniraj, became our guru. Mm -hmm. And it was Muniraj who taught me in detail about, uh, about Havan, about uh, temple service. He put me in the temple in Chirinova, which is up in Himalaya. Mm -hmm. And there he taught me to do puja. And then in the end, he said, this will be your work, yeah. puja. Yeah. And then later on, he, Muniraj he taught me to do also Pandit services like going around and doing Shrad pujas and Shiva puja, and, but mainly my duty is to do serve in the temple. Hmm. And you could easily associate yourself with this. Yes, easy. Yes, easy. <laughs> Although the, the work is not easy, mm -hmm. and slowly, slowly by doing you start to learn, mm -hmm. because I'm not educated in Sanskrit. I'm not. Uh, to all find it my found it out myself mm -hmm. but uh Muniraji told me slowly slowly you will learn this mantra you will learn to learn the scriptures of Herakan you will learn to do the proper way of doing the puja and then bit by bit and also by learning from other pundits and by learning the scriptures by studying a lot self-study mm -hmm. I bit, did bit by bit I learned uh, the basics of the puja and also to do some advanced puja but there is a limitation mm. because my Sanskrit is of course not not mm. not that good. But I have the blessing of uh, of Sri Babaji, so mm. I can do only because he blessed me too mm. and he told me to do. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So now we find you really enjoying it, and also we find you really doing it from your heart. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. That's uh, something which is different from many, many even. Uh, even from other Indian priests, yeah. I find your puja is really a devotion. Yeah, that's the beauty when you don't know nothing. <laughs> and then you have to find it out and then you become like you feel that it is, uh, it's a heart. It's serving God and it is, uh, yeah, it's mainly serving God. I mean, it's taking care of him, washing his feet, washing his hands, putting him to bed, waking him up in the morning. And then, uh, and you have to do it with all your emotions you basically have. That is the difficulty also. If you're angry, you still have to do it. Mm -hmm. So then you have to cope with yourself and, and be patient and be soft and comfortable. Many mm -hmm. things. Because if you stand in front of Shiva, you, it's strong. Mm -hmm. He doesn't spare you. Mm -hmm. Although he's loving you and taking care of you, he also doesn't spare you because his true nature is truth. Mm -hmm. He wants you to follow the path to liberation. Mm -hmm. So there's no use to spare him. Mm -hmm. But then you have to feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you for sharing. Yes, thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure.